How to be successful in life 10 powerful keys Do you know what leads one person to achieve success in life over another? After doing a lot of research, we've come up with 10 keys to success. Success is within reach if you are willing to put in the work. But in order to do the right work, you must first learn how to be successful. 10 Keys to Success First Key, Make a Plan The very first key to success is to make a plan. This means having a clear picture of what a successful life looks like to you and putting together a well-defined set of goals to get you to that life. Planning well starts with figuring out what you want and writing it down in detail. It's important to have clarity on your definition of success. This is the foundation for your plan. To succeed means to accomplish a goal. By this definition, if you don't set goals, you'll never succeed. Second key, prepare for the unexpected. Many of the best laid plans have been derailed by a single misstep. Preparing for the unexpected can make the difference between your plans ending in failure or succeeding despite a bump in the road. So how do you prepare for the unexpected? Start by making a list of things that could go wrong in your plan. Then create workarounds and backups for each potential problem. Even when I'm driving a route I know well, I usually keep my GPS up and running to help me navigate traffic jams, construction, or missed turns. Third key, prioritize your goals. As you create your systems and put your good habits into practice, you'll probably find there isn't enough time in each day to work towards every goal. Manage your time wisely, so that the right activities take priority. If you're not sure how to prioritize goals, it may help to apply some techniques like a numerical ranking system or the Eisenhower matrix. Prioritizing your goals also means not letting things that never even made your list get in front of pursuing what did. In other words, don't let talking to a telemarketer derail your plans to work on your website. Fourth key, develop good habits. You can have big dreams, great goals, and still fail. The third key of success requires you to turn your goals into actions. Repeated actions in the right direction become helpful habits. And once you form the right habits, you create momentum. Creating systems for your life as you are forming good habits can help you to stay on track. You can build systems by grouping good habits together. Having a system in place can keep you from having to make decisions on the fly or keep track of doing all your goal-oriented tasks one by one. Instead, you follow an intentional daily pattern that moves you towards your goals with less stress. This has the added benefits of reducing stress and freeing your attention to focus on the things that truly require more brain power. Fifth key, learn from your mistakes. They say the road to success is paved with failure. What they don't say, is that each piece of failure on that road probably looks different than the other. Success most likely came by way of trying, and failing, many different ways. Yes, you can fail your way to success, but almost never by making the same mistake over and over. Failure is a part of the process of becoming successful if you make it a teacher. Learning and growing after failure makes it useful. For example, consider a runner. Every race a runner loses, they may still be improving. If they build up strength and try new running techniques, they will likely see progress. They may move up from fifth place to third place to second. Even though they aren't first, each race is a part of the process of success, moving them closer to getting first place. Sixth key, try different strategies. The road to success is not straight. There are stops and starts, turns, and detours. Anyone who says they've got the exact path to success for you is probably lying. As their, creepy, saying goes, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Heck, 
There's more than one way to get the meaning of that saying across. Let's make up a newer more pet friendly one, there's more than one way to peel a banana. Anyway you put it, there's more than one way to do, just about everything. So, if at first, you don't succeed, try another way. Try a new strategy. Come at your goal from a new angle, at a different time, with a different person. There could in fact be many effective strategies. You just need to find the right one. The only way to find it is to keep changing and keep trying until you find one that works. Seventh key, take smart risks. As you try out different strategies, you may find that you're trying something entirely new. It might feel scary. Admittedly, taking risks is intimidating, but taking smart risks can have big payoffs. Taking a smart or calculated risk means researching potential outcomes and determining what your chances of success are and if the payoff is worth risking the harm that could be done. Getting good at risk taking is a life skill that takes time to develop. You may have a few painful failures as you figure out how to take calculated risks in life. It's best to start out taking small risks. As you get better at it, you'll probably become more comfortable. But don't let your comfort be the only deciding factor. Often, taking a risk is the only way to achieve success. Eighth key, learn from the experts. Truthfully, there is no one path to success. Nevertheless, a lot can be learned from studying other successful people. Even better is to be mentored or to study directly under someone. Recorded history doesn't always catch all the details and nuances. Start with doing some research and study successful people who did something in the same realm of what you are striving to achieve. Want to innovate? Study innovators. Want to be a great painter? Study Van Gogh, Monet, and Picasso. Want to own a restaurant? Learn from a restaurateur. Whatever you are after, watch what the experts do, take notes, and ask questions. Ninth key, master how to say no. Our culture undervalues the importance of saying no. It can be uncomfortable. If you listen to interviews with successful people, you'll probably hear them talk about turning down great opportunities they knew aren't right for them. Learning how to say no is an essential key to success in life. Successful people say no all the time. Saying no means knowing yourself, your boundaries, and being able to determine what is worth your time and energy. Saying no to the wrong thing leaves space to say yes to the right thing. It leaves room for the right opportunity. Have trouble saying no? Tenth key, invest in relationships. While the saying, it's not what you know it's who you know may overstate the importance of relationships to success, it's certainly not without merit. As a rule, investing in relationships is quite valuable. People are made to be connected to a community. The benefits of being in a safe and encouraging community go beyond success in any one area of life. As James Clear says in Atomic Habits, There are many types of relationships that can boost your chances of success in life. For example, the relationship you need most may be a friend who has no connections, but supports you when times are tough. Maybe the relationship you need is with a competitor, someone to challenge you and keep you sharp. In particular pursue a mentoring relationship, which can lead to networking opportunities and invaluable advice. We know that the lack of these relationships can be the biggest gap between aged out foster youth and success. If you're intimidated by the idea of networking, don't worry, you're not alone. Learning how to network effectively takes time, intention, and practice. Everybody finds it intimidating at first, but it's important to face those fears and do it anyway. Do subscribe Quotes Hub Dictionary of Life channel and like videos. For further videos stay connected.